what's going on guys I just wanted to get on here and discuss the tragic news that happened this morning which was that Kentaro Muria had passed away at first uh, I didn't want to believe it because you know it always happens where somebody dies and it's not true but unfortunately it is it was all over Facebook YouTube I even messaged my friend, had to confirm with him that it was true, and um, still hasn't really synced in. Um, by the name of the channel, Berserker Lobo, you can guess that Berserk had an influence to me starting the channel. Uh, Berserk has always been my favorite manga anime, so when I started the channel, I was like, alright, let me implement something of berserk so i'm like let me let me get berserk and put my last name call it berserk and logo and i'm like boom all right that's gonna be the name of the channel and um yeah um started the channel to take you guys along my journey of statue collecting and it kind of turned into more of a professional style videos where i would be in the background shoot the videos do the shots but I wanted to change it up and originally I was going to come on camera and do a proper unboxing but then the news of Kintaro came and I was like you know what uh, let me hop on and you know kind of pay tribute to him start it off and kind of share with you guys why um or how I came to know Berserk and I want to say it was about 2010 2012 that I was uh, I was on I believe it was red uh, I want to say it was what's the name Netflix back in the days so I think back th back then you had to order a CD and go online not how it is now anyways um, I click on the trailer and it's a guy on a cliff with a big ass sword, a red cape, and a helmet. And the art style is like in the 90s and I'm like, man, that looks pretty badass. So fast forward two or three weeks, I go to my cousin's house and uh, we watch it online, beginning to end. Fell in love from the first episode and I get to the end. And I'm like, there's no way this is the end. Because I just felt heartbroken, devastated, mad. Uh, you can't even begin to describe what I felt. If, you, if you've if you seen Berserk, you know what I'm talking about. And I just felt like I needed more. I was like, this can't be it. There has to be more. And I looked and no, at the time, that's all there was. So then I decided to start reading the manga and uh, hooked from the beginning because literally it's basically what they showed with basically the prequel so got hooked uh, the drawing the illustration was amazing uh, the story on guts you know and how he's a loner travels by himself and the struggles he goes through and how it's okay to rely on others that just stuck out to me a lot and I continued reading to about, I want to say 2013. From then onwards, I just let it build because at that point, I think I was up to date. So fast forward, I decided to get into collecting figures here and there. And at the time, I think the, the biggest statue company, I want to say was Art of War. And their prices were ridiculous. At the time, I couldn't afford half the things on there and then of course it was gecko they had a guts out there i think it was 600 700 dollars it was still too much at the time i'm talking about the time i was buying figures for like 50 60 bucks so you know looking at that price point was beyond me so then fast forward i start to gain a little more knowledge on statues and i see that a company by the name of prime one studios comes out with their guts 
and I'm talking about I saw it and I immediately was in love I'm talking about I didn't care what the price was I had to buy it that statue was a day one pre-order for me first minute it came on Sideshow boom I ordered it and from there ever since I've kind of just been uh, collecting majority of the prime one pieces as you can see um, with a few here and there like uh, God Hand I haven't collected you know any of those yet I do have slant on PO I don't know if I'm gonna keep it so then you know other statue companies start making berserk you know uh, Sume comes out um, Oniri comes out with their Zod and uh, Prime One and uh, Prime One their Zod and uh, Oniri god damn it I'm fucking up comes out with their Zod and Guts Diorama which at the time remember it's been like 2013 so I'm behind so I see this and I'm like okay spoiler alert so yeah um hopefully this is the beginning of uh me coming on camera and uh doing unboxings and i just wanted to take the time to basically share um what berserk has meant to me and you know how the whole community is basically saddened by the death of Kentaro and how he will always be loved and remembered and uh, my condolences to his family friends uh, know that he you know that you will be missed and that hopefully if this is how berserk ends you know, I'm not mad. I'd appreciate it. I'm satisfied. But uh, if he did hand off the work to somebody else, you know, I would love to see the ending of it. But if we don't, you know, that's it. You know, to me, Berserk will always be uh, my number one favorite anime, manga, uh, masterpiece. And yeah, uh, I'll keep collecting. I'll try to keep posting if I can, and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys, so um, if you like the video, uh, all I want is, you know, to share, for you guys to post on the comments and uh, share how you came to know about Berserk and what it means to you. So with that, I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time.